We are now back in one of our favorite places in the entire world, Chiang Mai, Thailand. Cody and I absolutely adore Chiang Mai. This is our second home and there's so much to do here. Yoga, trekking, shopping, relaxing, zip lining, and not to mention so many incredible vegan options. Over the course of the next two weeks, we're gonna show you why we love Chiang Mai so much. We just got here and we checked into our guest house and we noticed that there is a new vegan vegetarian restaurant on our street called the Bodhi Tree. So we're gonna head there right now and go and eat. Cody and I both got the vegan burger. It is delicious and it's stuffed full of fresh veggies. And we got the um, potato salad. called J. Uh, J uh, in Thai pretty much means vegan. You'll notice the symbol, it's kind of like that. Uh, they also have yellow flags with red writing. The food is delicious, it's vegan, it's inexpensive. Uh, we paid about three dollars for two noodle soups and ten stuffed wonton. restaurant but they have some pretty incredible vegan desserts cinnamon buns chocolate peanut butter pie we have a caramel bar muffins there's bread there are even vegan croissants and I have an almond latte that I'm about to enjoy when in Chiang Mai most definitely visit Blue Diamond because the vegan desserts are amazing popped into a restaurant called Nice Kitchen. It's not completely vegan, uh, but we were very hungry and I was looking for a soy latte. They do have that. They also have tofu scramble, fresh fruit, soy milk with muesli. So no matter where you go, it doesn't necessarily have to be a vegan or vegetarian restaurant, although we do prefer it. But no matter where you go, you can always find vegan options here in Chiang Mai. So it's day number two of us coming back to Wat Sanduk to see if Poon Poon's open. I feel like I'm wasting space in my stomach and that's very upsetting. The most disappointing meal I think I've ever had in Thailand. We walked a kilometer and a half to get here so we decided to stay because we were very hungry. It was our first meal. But the floors are filthy and there are at least 10 dead big cockroaches all over the place. Not only that, the, f the food wasn't good. No, it was like, not good at all. We ordered a plate of fried tempeh and it was covered in oil. So, I mean, it's fried, yes, but I mean, at least you know, soak it up in some paper towel or something. Uh, Giselle ordered a shiitake mushroom hot pot. It was disgusting. Like there was literally no effort put into it. No vegetables, just noodles mushrooms and it was tasteless for the pun pun located at Wat Suan Dok we would highly not recommend coming here we are having dinner at a very new place we've never been here before it's called Karma Kitchen I'm having the mixed mushroom vegan burger and Cody is having the chickpea peanut butter burger sounds interesting we've been hearing that it's delicious Really, that's not what to choose from. What did I get? I got waffles with a rum raisin and a vanilla chocolate chip. 
And I got the Ice Love You 3 scoops with wasabi and banoffee pie and a Thai tea flavor. Ah, I'm hungry! Ice cream! Ice Love You is definitely another must visit when you come to Chiang Mai. We are headed to Freebird Cafe, which is a charity cafe that supports the work of the Thai Freedom House. Thai Freedom House is a language and arts center that supports indigenous and Burmese refugees. 100% of the profits from Freebird Cafe goes to supporting the Thai Freedom House. So not only are you eating delicious food, but you're also supporting a really, really great cause. Although we really do enjoy visiting and eating at Freebird Cafe, there have been a few times we weren't too impressed with, but they have some incredible Burmese food if you want to try the vegan version. So give it a try and let us know what you think. We recently heard about a place that we've never ate at before. It's called Amrita Gardens and we just came here today. It is Thai Japanese owned. The food is mostly vegan. There's some vegetarian options as well. Uh, it's a really healthy, clean, macrobiotic Japanese dishes. I had a delicious cheese platter. And I had the vegan burger, which was absolutely incredible. Of course, I ordered two patties, so it was huge. And I'm super full right now. In the menu, there are eight different flavors of cheese to choose from, and I got to choose three. So I got Havarti, black pepper, and dill. They were all delicious and creamy and rich. And they're more like a, a brie, so very buttery and soft. They were fantastic. And it's amazing to find vegan cheese while traveling.